Question three from Peterson and Wilson. Um, I, I'll start real quick if that's okay, Shandra. Yeah. Um, first of all, uh, just having been involved in GSB for the last year and a half, I've had a really great opportunity to work with Shandra Peterson and just seeing how she's taken, uh, worked with students to transform the Campus Town Student Association and the Campus Town Action Association to, first of all, make them exist again, but second of all, to just have them transform into such a proactive, productive group. Um, why I'm running with Shandra Peterson is because she motivates students and she motivated me. And I, I it's hard to say no to her, by the way. Uh, so I think that's one great quality that she has. Um, just a couple issues, you know, Shandra mentioned the Campus Town Court, um, uh, banners in Campus Town, all these different initiatives. The thing that um, we need to remember is these are all student-led initiatives. When students get together and we work together, we have no boundaries. We just can do so much to make Iowa State our own and make it better. Um, and with the other campaign, I, I guess one thing I would like to ask you is um, you mentioned all the, you know, several ideas, but I don't hear a lot of hows. I hear a lot of you know, ifs and wins and whatnot, but I don't hear a lot of how. And what Shannon and I really want to focus on is setting these plans of action. And we want to outline the plans because we know that strategy is the only way to bring about results with hard work. And that's something that both Shannon and I are more than willing to do is put the elbow grease to work and get everything done that we possibly can by involving more students like we've done with Campus Town Court. Mm -hmm. Having our own architecture student, uh, you know, design the uh, uh, whole setup is just phenomenal and it looks great. Um, and and uh, in addition to that, you know, uh, Luke mentioned economic development. That is extremely important and, and what he would like to do. But I'm already working on these things. I, I've had the opportunity. Campus Town Action Association, the business association, is exactly what that group is trying to do, working with the city to uh, bring in businesses. It's really difficult. Uh, a business doesn't want to set up in an area that has empty, ep empty lots everywhere. So it's, it's something that we're struggling with. But... Um, if Campus Town Action Association can do things like banners in Campus Town, the Campus Town Court, the mural, um, they start getting a viability. Um, if we become a chambered, recognized organization, um, we start. We then have um, the chamber's support, and so I'm taking those steps to reach that goal of economic viability. It's not something that you just snap your fingers and you get. I wish it was because it would have been done a year and a half ago when I started this project. It's something that you have to continuously work on, and I've had the opportunity. Um, one of the things that the other ticket said that they want to do is establish partnerships with the city. I've done that. I, I get to work with the city almost daily. Sheila Lunn is the assistant city manager. She's amazing to work with. Steve Shanker is the city manager. I've, I've sent multiple emails and face-to-face -face contact him with uh, the Banner Project. And so we've had a lot of opportunity to work with um, these guys. Uh, Matthew Goodman is on the city council. He regularly attends Campus Town Action Association. Um, and we work together on a lot of different projects. And so um, establishing relationships, check. Uh, economic viability, we're working. And one more quick thing to add, just a specific idea of, that Shannon and I have talked about that we want to keep on working with the university and how our partnerships are really going to help students. Uh, one thing that we'd really love to see, um, and we're working on the feasibility of this, is to have students who um, have their mandatory dining dollars, which is another thing we'd love to talk about. Um, students don't always like that. Maybe that's not an option they want, and we need to talk about that. But right now, with the dining dollars that they do have, It'd be great if they could use those in Campus Town. Um, Campus Town and the university are so interconnected, and that's something we need to realize. And the last thing I want to mention is um, that Shandra and I have been very, very strong supporters of the Varsity Theater Project from the beginning. And we know that the next president and vice president of the student body is going to have a lot of work to do. And we are willing to put in that work. We want to make sure that we have viable options for students who are under 21 to have entertainment options in Campus Town. We see this project as not just another theater, but a whole new student service that can be opened up. Having the Ames Library have functions there in the summertime, working with the Greek community to hold rush events and brother and sisterhood activities. We see endless possibilities here, and we can't wait to continue that. And one thing we want to make sure is student funds are used wisely. And with different amendments that we offered during the uh, debate for the Varsity Theater slash Cyclone Cinema, we've uh, definitely been working to make sure that happens Currently, we have some issues with the, the uh, $60,000 deficits that, that's there. And that's something that we need to be frank with students and say, hey, we're working with the ISU Foundation. We're working with the people who own the building to find other ways to make sure that this is as affordable to students and that their student fees are not going to be wasted because we pay the student fees too, and we, we can't afford that. All right, thank you for your answer on the rebuttal. We'll go to rebuttal number two on rolling and doubles. Uh, I'd like to start by answering Mr. Wilson's question about how 
Um, as far as specific economic plans, I have already admitted, you know, I'm not the expert. Uh, partnering with the city, making sure they establish it as a full priority. That is how, that is what we can do on that end. And then continuing uh, to work with students. Um, that's absolutely central. Uh, going out, starting from the very beginning of our term, uh, making sure we get into house meetings, hall meetings, start communicating with students immediately. Uh, we have more than just personal agendas for the area. Nate and I seek to represent all students, uh, serve as the voice with all students. Um, with regard to um, the Varsity Theater Project, uh, Nate and I, uh, for, with our roles currently on Senate, uh, we had the role of being skeptics for the project. Um, I'm an engineer. You want to find the most skeptical bunch in the world for any project, it will be an engineering group. Uh, Nate and I voiced our concerns with the project. Uh, now that it's been voted through Senate, we recognize the importance of moving on, uh, doing what we can to make it financially viable. Um, Jacob uh, mentioned the $60,000 deficit. Uh, that is absolutely still scary in my mind. Uh, Nate and I are working, willing to work, uh, however we can to make sure this deficit doesn't uh, start you know, climbing and becoming even worse. Uh, one thing Nate and I really bring to the table with the Varsity Theater is level heads. And uh, that's um, one of the main concerns I had with the project. Uh, as it originated within our, the government and the student body, there's a lot of emotional attachment. Uh, not that passion and attachment are a bad thing, but when I see this much emotional attachment to a project, it can really cloud your judgments. Uh, Nate and I have uh, two of the more uh, level-headed un and unbiased opinions, uh, to quote someone else, uh, that we've had on camp uh, that exist on campus. Uh, we're really willing to uh, make the tough decisions if they need to be made. Uh, not that we're expecting them to be made. We're in full support of the project, but. If tough uh, circumstances do arise, Nate and I will be able to keep clear heads and make uh, decisions that need to be made. All right. Well, I thank you for the rebuttal on that. All the questions that are down, we're going to go come back with the uh, final wrap-ups and audience questions. Thank you for sticking tuned to this debate.